Round two, match three, block B is about to begin. And this time on top, we have the Damned, who is up 1-0. and zero, And on bottom, we have Toshiko, who is down 0-1. The Damned has uh, War of the Time Age. Countdown the Time Age. Float the Time Age. And Bleed the Time Age versus Toshiko, who has Kasumi the Ninja. Ayani the Ninja. Ibuki the Ninja and Taki the Ninja. Okay, so round one between the Damned and Toshiko. We're going to map 34. Cello of Sand Mouse. Alrighty then. So we have uh, <clears throat> the Damned in the blue and Toshiko in the red. Countdown looking for a triple panel haste, it seems like. To so get all three off. So a good start for the damned here. The ninjas are taking their time closing in. We do see Shao Shea come into play. We see an auto potion as well. Warp to go for a comet. Bleed will look for more Shadow Shade. Countdown. Not sure what she's looking for. Oh, she's looking for a haste onto herself and to her other party member. Kasumi will rush forward. Ayani will rush forward as well. A weapon break hits. Very good. And a blackmail misses. Those are pretty good odds, too. Taki will go forward. Out of potion. The combined damage from Shadow Shade and Comet um, took out one Ayani the Ninja, it seems like. So, the damage ahead, four on three. Comet, no auto potion, which means she's probably going to go down. Yes, she does. So, Toshiko in some trouble here. Stop hits. Ooh. That can't be good. The dam is definitely controlling this with a lot of um, direct constant damage and status as well. Namely, in stop. Demi 2 kills one of the ninjas. And Demi doesn't kill that last ninja, that's Kasumi. Who kills that other time mage, so it's. Um, <clears throat> Right now it is going to be 3 on 1, or it's going to be 4 on 3. Oh, stop hits. Ooh, nice. Raze does connect, so it's 4 on 1 in the dam's favor here. See, Warp's going to hang back. Not do much. Demi 2 misses, but they have plenty of time to put this match to a close. And a ninja does finally go down, so the dam will quickly be taken round one. We'll see what happens in round two. And we are set for round two. This time we are on map 22. Magic City, Garland. Last match, uh, Toshiko pretty much got hammered with Comet, Demis, and, and, and a stop proc was thrown in there as well. As a result, the dam was able to just simply... Um, <clears throat> pick apart uh, Tachiko's team one by one by one by one. We're going to find out if he can do the same thing here or can Tachiko uh, force a round three. Don't act proc does hit. Demi hits. But he's going to trigger auto potion. Now Yanni will rush forward. See Shao Shade that time. See, Bleed is going to look for a Bile 3. Warp will go for a quick X Potion. See, Kasumi will go all the way forward. And heal Ayani the Ninja. Taki will rush forward. Double Poison proc. And Ayani will go have to Warp the Time Age. Ooh, nice. Redirecting that Bile 3 to kill, to kill her. Very nice. Ibuki... We'll kill that time age with just enough hit points. 
So yeah, Yanni will go after this time age. A weapon break hits. Then that's gonna wear off. And Kasumi will resurrect Ayani. Taki will go forward. And it looks like Toshiko will be taking uh will be taking uh, round two here. A quick auto potion and countdown <clears throat> gets killed due to poison. So all there's left is bleed. And she's pretty much done for. Alright, so Toshi uh, Toshika will be tying this one up. We're going to round three. And here we go for the tiebreaker. This time we're at map 103. Windmill Shed. The dam took the first round. Toshiko took the second round. This is for all the marbles right here. Warp Gan out of the way for haste. Therefore, Float was the one that got it. Comet hits. Kasumi will go for not too much. Ibuki. And Taki rushing forward. Ayani will get in range. See Sa Shadow Shade. We see an auto potion go off and absorb MP. Believe's looking for more Shadow Shade as Countdown to look for a Demi 2. Float's going to look for another Comet. Warp's gonna look for another comment as well. So the dam trying to prepare an all-out assault here. Mimic Derivon puts one of the time mages to sleep. Comet. Two comets. We see an auto potion. Ayani. Double weapon break misses. See a quick auto potion. Another auto potion. We're going to see slow to as float will go for looks like a demi. And Taki will kill the sleeping time age. And slow two hits three ninjas. But it is Toshiko who is in the lead here as of this moment. Bees and boat proc. Very good. Blackmail misses. If that was the uh, blackmail missing, that would have been the end pretty much for the damned. Demi missing both ninjas. And it looks like this is going to be a very quick match for um, weapon break and a crit shot. Yeah, it's going to be a very quick match for uh, Ibuki. Definitely a quick win. Mimic Derivon misses. See another auto potion. Two auto potions that time. See Kasumi will go for another Phoenix down. This time into Ayani. Who attacks the Time Mage. And grabs the crystal in the process. Mimic Derivon misses. And that will do it. So Toshiko bumps back up to 1-1. One one. The dam falls to 1-1. One one. GG.